morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee with Casey. My name is Casey Sampson from the Casey Sampson team. And with me today, I have Pam Mooney, one of the top producers from our team. And she's nice enough to sit in here with me. And, and today, we're going to talk about the three ways we market your home. Now, <clears throat> things have changed. This is not your parents' real estate market anymore. We don't add it to the MLS, and then poof, yeah. buyers just appear. So the technology of today is amazing. And so we're going to talk about the three ways that you need to market your house. Now, you know, every time somebody tells me how to do something, I, I'm, I'm a football coach. So before, if you give me advice, I want to know your record. So just so that you know, I mean, every year we do $85, $100 million worth of business. And last year, our listings sold at 100.01% of what we listed them for. So when we say this is how you do it, we have the credibility, I think, to at least the track record. There may be better ways to do it, but our way works. Right. And, and we work in a market where the average home sells at 96% of its list price, and we sell it for 100.01%. So, so instead of it selling for like 960000 our sell for a million dollars. So that's a big deal. So we're going to talk about how we get buyers into the house. Pricing is a big deal, but this is the marketing segment. So there's three ways we do it. We're going after the buyers, directly to the buyers. We're going after the realtors, and we're going after the renters. So let's start with the buyers. How do we do that? Well, you know, today is different in that we have social media. We didn't have that right. back then. Back right. in our day, we had CB no. radios. No. You know. <laughs> but we have social media today. And so the key starting is, if, they're go if 85, 95% of the people are going to see your home online, it's got to be beautiful online. I mean, it's got to be spectacular. So the pictures that we take are not fusion photography. Correct. They are one step above fusion photography, and they are awesome. When we go to listing presentations, we say, fusion, us. And you cannot believe how beautiful it is. So it's, it's stunning with the pictures. And if you've ever seen any of our homes online, I mean, the websites right. are, are rather spectacular. So how do we market that to people online? Well. The artificial intelligence knows everything about us. Correct. If you buy a pair of shoes online. It appears on the side. It appears on the side. <laughs> if you look for something, you're going to see it. Google Ads knows who you are. Facebook knows who you are. Instagram, Twitter, they know who you are. I'll tell you another group that's really coming on strong, a great way of marketing, is LinkedIn. Yes. Is that, did I pronounce that yes. right? LinkedIn? Yes. So if I'm trying to sell to a doctor, or I'm trying to sell to a lawyer, or I'm trying to sell to... Uh, something like that. Perfect example, you know, I go here to Julie and I say, Julie, this is a 1.85 million. The closest big place to it is Innova Hospital. Let's market right. this to an Innova surgeon. And that's who bought the house. Now, we sold it for 1.885 million in a neighborhood that hadn't seen anything over 1.3 million since 2011. So those people aren't just walking around that right. neighborhood. You have to take that and you have to present it incredibly well, and then you got to push it right in front of Correct. whoever that right. target market is. Right. So right. if we're listing a house in Franklin Farms, we know who our buyers right. are. Right, right. And we've and a lot of listing appointments we go on, the homes are specific to a certain type of personality. I mean, we've done ones that are um, Mediterranean looking. We've done some that are yeah. for certain types of groups, and we know how to go out and find the group that best fits that home. And that's, I mean, that's what I love about our job is, is finding the perfect home for somebody. Julie gets the award when I walked in and I said, I walked into the sellers and the seller says, well, it's decorated for a Persian couple. Yep. Go find a Persian couple. Yeah. And I went to Julie and I said, Julie, I need a Persian couple. Yeah. It had been on the market for 264 days. There was marble everywhere. And it just the, the whole feel was different from how they Correct. did their home. Sure enough, within now it'd been on for 264 days with another realtor. Sure enough, within 20 days, we had it sold to a Persian couple. Yeah. yeah. And so you can target, um, and and in Franklin Farms, we see a lot of families. They're here for the schools. They right. have three kids. Right. Based on the size of the house, we can describe where they work. 30 minutes to the east. Um, so we can describe who they are and how we're going to go get right. them. So on those five mediums where you have LinkedIn and and um, uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and blah, blah, blah. But 
you have to ju not just throw things out there against the sand. When we talk about finding a direct buyer, it's called boosting this ad or whatever Julie does. She's the genius. <laughs> She's the that. guru. <laughs> so we boosted, and I have a chart that can show me when it went out organically, you got three hits. Three people went to the website. But when it was boosted to the right market group, you had 155. So, I mean, it is at least 25 to 35 times the right. amount of people that go. So when somebody says, I use social media, how? Do you use geofencing? Do you do you do, do you target families? Do you target specific groups? Who's your buyer going to be? And it's amazing how many times I'll look at the seller, and I'll describe who the buyer is. Right before we and they, got, and they got their mouth open. Going, <laughs> yeah, that was us. <laughs> yeah. That was us ten years yeah, ago exactly. or fifteen years ago. Exactly. Exactly. I describe where they work, how old they were, how many kids they had, what they were looking, looking for, for, and what attracted them to this area. Correct. You know. And based on the size of the house, we could pretty much target what their income group is. You know? Correct. So that's the first way of marketing is that we go outbound after that buyer. And, and God love you, if you go on Zillow and you're looking at you know, $1 million houses in Vienna, and I've got a $1 million house in Vienna, the next time you open up your Wall Street Journal, pow, that ad's going to be yeah. sitting there waiting for you. So we do not wait. We go and get them. It's very expensive. Uh, you have to have a professional that does that every day. When you have a big team like the Casey Sampson team, we do enough business with our agents that we can afford to have some, you know, that kind of luxury for our sellers. But that is a powerful way of doing it. The second way is, is realtors. realtors. So remember, we have the general public, which we go get them. We have realtors and we have renters. So now let's talk about the realtors. You know, realtors store certain... Um, uh, in, uh, inquiries into the computer and we have a system which not a lot of realtors know about of how to get their email addresses Correct. so let's say you're working with a buyer and you're looking for a certain thing and your email feed comes in there's four lines and they're pretty nondescript lines and it's it's like okay four houses came on the market no we know who you are and we're gonna send this beautiful email that has the pictures and that has, you know, Julie's design and Michelle and then boom. And that's going to come to the email of just those 100 or 120 realtors that have a stored search in the computer. Right. And we can also tell if their buyer has checked it off as their favorite. So those are the ones we're really going to hit first because those are the ones that yeah. their buyers have already marked it as either, you know, questionable or favorite. So it's a great way to reach out to those agents and say anything. Um, we can send them pricing models to show why it's priced the way it is. We can send them, you know, the, any changes that we make in pricing or anything like that, if that's... And it sure does help when you have a contract. Yes. Oh, and you say, yes. we just got a contract. Now, yes. this just happened at, um, at um, Waples Glen where it, we did, we sent out an email to all interested agents that we have a contract, contract. before you know it, we have three or four contracts. Right. And an eventual winner was right. an all cash, 50,000 above list. So, so instead of having a contract for 1.55 million contingent on the sale of another house, you have a 1.6 million that's settling in five days. Wow. All cash. That's and, and from what Pam just described, that's exactly what we did and what we do. So. So we need to reach out to them. Now, realtors may say, I reach out to realtors because there's a blanket email you can send out to the masses. Right. We're not interested in that because people uh, unsubscribe. Right. If, if you send me something from Georgetown, I'm unsubscribing. So I've unsubscribed from a lot of realtors. But if you work in this neighborhood, this area, whether you've got a stored search or not, you're going to hear from us and you're going to need that beautiful email right. of a house in your own backyard that I know that you're an agent that work in. And the whole key to this is getting the email addresses of just those agents and being able to walk in and segment the group of, of, of emails you're looking for and getting it out to just those agents that you touch. Correct. So very powerful. Now agents around here know that we price the house right, that right. we make sure that it's staged correctly or at least, and I don't want to use the word staging, is prepared correctly for yeah. today's transitional buyers. So it's priced right. It looks great. They can depend on us to deliver a nice right. house to the realtor. So they're not wasting their time. And they know our bidding situation, so they'll come in and they'll know how to advise their clients on bidding. So 
So we really rely a lot on the real estate agents and we go get them. And, and this is why I think a lot of people miss out when they're talking about for sale by owners, putting on Zillow all by themselves, because really the power is in that realtor group. Correct. Okay, that's where the buyers are. All right, so the last one that we're looking at, and you know the reason why people move into 20171 is because they want to get into some of these schools. Schools. This school, not that school. Right. Sometimes. In Vienna, this school, not that school. So if you go to the school district and you search for all renters in that school district, or let's say I'm in a school district with a great school. Right. I'll go to the neighboring dis uh, areas around it because they're saying, well, I moved into this area, but I really want to be in that school district. Trade over, yeah. So we target the renters in that school district because the moms and dads want their kids to stay. The kids want to stay and, the, and they want to stay. But if they're looking and saying, you know, I'd really like to try and get in that school district if we buy, then we send it to the renters of the neighboring school districts as well. That's really important because a lot of people, this is a transitional area. Correct. A lot of people aren't sure whether they're going to be here for a long time or not. They come in and rent first. So in Vienna, single family detached homes, there's 1,400 renters. 1,400 renters in single family detached homes in Vienna. Yeah. So if we have a home that we put that on, well, those 1,400 uh, renters, they're getting a, uh, a, uh, a, a postcard from us, inviting them to the open house. Yep. And the great thing about Samson Properties, and if any of you realtors are out there listening and are not working <laughs> with Samson Properties, <laughs> the great thing about Danny and the program here is we have our own uh, mailing okay. system. And so we will say, send this card to 1,400 people, and he sends it out at half price. First right. of all, the price is great, but he cuts it in half for the renters. So, you know, it's incredible that we can just send out right. efficiently and effectively 1,400 right. emails to renters that surround a listing, and it's not a huge amount of money. No but it's an important right. amount of money because I think that hitting that as well. Yeah. So, so when we come in and we're marketing a home for sale, it's not putting in the MLS system anymore. It's certainly not putting it in a newspaper or a magazine. It That's is nice. going out through the five channels of social media. It's using geofencing. It's targeting our buyers. It's knowing who our buyers are. It's effectively using Google ads. It's paying the money we need to pay. It's marketing to the realtors, knowing exactly which realtors have clients in your area, are looking in your area, are working in your area, or have sold a house within the past two years in your area. They are all targets, and you need email addresses. And then you need to have a beautiful presentation for them online. And then they, once they see that, they send it to their client, the client goes on, they put a heart on it, and then we track them the whole way. Correct. If you open that email five or six times, we know who you are. And that's telling me that you have an interest. Or if you've shared it, we see that. So Pam can get a report on these emails. She knows which agents are really interested, which agents have sent it to their clients, which clients right. have checked the little heart that make it a love. And then the, the last of the three uh, pillars of marketing, if you will, is go after those renters. Those are ready-made buyers, man. Those are, I can't tell you how many times a, a person has bought our house that's been renting in the area, uh, even in assisted living, or not assisted living, what do you call that? Extended living. The extended living. You know, corporate, corporate housing, they call it. Correct. But, um, you know, those are all target areas for us. So on every house we do, that is automatic. Um, what happens is I list the house, I price the house, we come up with a marketing strategy, we identify the seller. Pam would work as an alt agent, and so would Billy or Pat or Kelly or Colby and Morgan. So, so the alt agents follow through and make sure all these details are done for every property so we get that done. So thanks for hanging out with us. That's how we market our houses. I'm Casey Sampson from the Casey Sampson team. I'm with Pam Mooney, and you can reach Pam at Pam at PamMooney.com or your number. Or 703-307-6663. Or you can reach me at 703-508-2535, Casey at CaseySampson.com. Thanks for joining, with, joining us today. We'll see you next time.